Testing one, two. Testing one, two, three. In our third video, I'm going to introduce you to functions. Functions make our lives much easier in Excel by simplifying uh, ways to do things. And today we're going to be adding numbers up and the sum function will make our lives a lot easier. On this sheet here, I've created a list of seven bills, each with varying amounts. And I want us to add these bills up so we can get a total. And I'm going to show you three different methods on how to do that. If you remember from our second video, we talked about creating a formula and that all formulas begin with the equal sign. So if we come back to our third sheet here, I'm going to go to cell E15 and I'm going to press equals. Now using my mouse, I'm going to click on cell E5. Notice it puts a blue box around it. It also plugs E5 into our formula. And I'm going to press the plus key. Now I'm going to select E6 with my mouse. Notice it plugs it in down here as well. And I'm just going to continue this pattern here. E7 plus E8 plus E9 plus E10 plus E11. And so we built this big old formula. And I'm going to press the enter key. And it adds our bills up nice and neat for us. But you're saying, Shane, that was kind of painful. Uh, if you look at the formula again by pressing F2, you'll see that we had to click with our mouse many times just to plug the formula in. We did. But there's a much easier way, and that's using a function. And the function we're going to use today is called sum. So I'm going to say equals SUM, open parentheses. And notice down here, it gives you a hint of what it's wanting you to do, number one. I'm actually going to go up now with my mouse and I'm going to click on cell E5 and holding my button down, I'm going to drag down across all seven of my values. I'm going to release the button off my mouse and I'm going to press close parentheses. So we have built a, this is what Excel calls a range. E5 through, that's what the two dots mean, E5 through E11 and that's what the box means as well it's just a graphical representation of our range so by pressing the enter key we get the same number as we got in method one uh, so that is much easier than clicking on each individual cell to add those up that is what the power of a function can do now I want to show you one more method that's actually even easier than what I just showed you and here I'm going to select my method 3 cell and I'm going to drag up using my mouse until I have covered all the different values that I wish to add up. And now coming up to my ribbon, to the formula ribbon, I'm going to hover my mouse above the auto sum feature and read what it says there. Automatically add it up. Your total will appear after, your, after the selected cells. So I'm going to click that button and looky there, it plugs in the sum automatically without actually me having to type a single thing. So that was pretty quick and painless. Now if I press F2 while in this cell, you can see that it plugs in sum plus our range now extends from E5 through E12. It actually incorporates a blank cell and that's not that big a deal. A blank cell is just zero. So we'll press enter but the beauty of that is it allows me to come up here and add a, another bill Let's call this cell phone. And let's plug in 95 bucks for that. And notice because we had already incorporated that last row in our last range, it automatically included that in our new total. These other two totals are incorrect. Now I can edit these just by clicking on method one, coming up here to the formula bar clicking on the plus sign then, and then clicking on cell E12 pressing enter and that works. I can also actually change our other sum function but this time I mean I could come in here and manually change E11 to E12 that would work just fine but there's an easier way. We can actually utilize this graphical box that Excel gives us by simply coming to the corner here notice how our cursor changes to a different symbol we can hold the mouse button down and drag down one cell 
release the mouse and press enter and we've updated our range guys that is the sum function it saves you a ton of time um, than the manual method that I showed you here in the in the first method um, I told you we was going to have homework and we do what I want you guys to do is create a list of students I want you to give each student a different grade doesn't matter how many it doesn't matter what their grades are I then want you to add up those grades and then I want you to try and figure out the class average now we haven't covered average yet it's just another function but I want to challenge you so that is your homework we'll go over that in our next video my name is Shane thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel so you're so you're the first to know when new videos come out and we'll talk to you soon take care testing one two testing one two three